Okay, here we are, part two. Gonna put the motors on and get the uh, tension set up just right so that uh, we then put the the wheels and hubs and the other one on. Um, one of the things you'll notice, um, let's see here, um, the motors came with the bullet connectors and the Vock box came with I think they're MR60 connectors and so the bullet detectors didn't fit in here so I had to create some adapters here so I just created a bullet soldered some wires for a bullet connector to the MR is it MR60 is that was it connector that was provided but I had to create that. You can also buy those on online. I think mboards, mboards.com or .co has these. You can buy them. They're like 10 bucks for two of them. So I had to do that. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to use Loctite yet. Just because I want to get the, the motors on and uh, tightened and... Uh, the belt pulling here there. Yeah, the belt tightens. Okay. Now pull the shears in. Not too tight so I can move it. Give it a little bit of play. Screws just to give us some support. Okay. One. If I get this one in here. On here, they can both slide a little bit, get a little bit of play. Yes, okay. This on here first. Have the you can see the have it on here, ready to go. Slide it in. motor in. You know, I'm not sure how much play is supposed to be in the belt, but I know you're not supposed to over tighten it. So, put it in here and just give it a little bit of tension. screws okay So, with that tightened, I need to take this back off. You 
should be able to slide it just slide it off. It shouldn't be too tight that you can't take it off. So now I should be able to with Loctite. Um, lock washers and the screws get them in there and on okay I'm gonna go ahead and do these do the right side first and I'll pause it I'll be right back so it's looking pretty good got this all bolted down it's all straight We'll uh, check this with the funk box once it's uh it's all it's all wired up. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one over here, and uh, then I'll show you guys the results here in a second. Okay, so we got the last one here hooked up. Let's go in. Move the camera a little bit here, so you see. So yeah. so yeah, so I just, um, these screws here, uh, just so you understand what I did, I put them on, put on two of these, and then tensioned the belt, and then once that was tensioned, I tightened down one of the screws, pulled off the belt and the wheel, and then secured all four with Loctite and the lock screw. And then put this, put the wheel and the belt back on. You can see now, since we did that, if I can uh, zoom in here a little bit, if I can see it. Yeah, since we did that cut in the, the motor mount, now, this belt goes nice and straight. There's no, that uh, pulley there on the motor pulley is nice and straight. Wheel's nice and straight. Pulley's nice and straight and the belt is. So, um, next thing, I think you see both of them here. Um, how straight that one is. So next thing is to hook up the Fonk box with the wires and a battery source so we can uh, run through the utility. Here's a close up of the tension that I have currently have on this thing. So it's It's not super tight. Same thing with this one. It's supposed to be tighter than that. So let's or let me know. Um, or looser. See when I go backwards, forwards. Okay, so plugged in the fog box. Got the, uh, so these are the phase wires, some for the motors, hull, sensors, or something like that. Plug in here for motor one, motor two. Um, you have the, the power button, plugs in here. Then the, um, the, what is it? The VX2 comes with this. You just plug in the little Bluetooth module, which then plugs into here and uh and you're good you need a battery source so i got the uh this off of uh ebay uh just it's just a mount for ego batteries uh today i got my two and a half amp hour ego if you wanted to try the smaller one and i have um a sensor here just to see i wanted to see how many amps this is actually drawing uh, as it's going. So go ahead and plug this in. That's using XT90 connector. 
that I had to, to solder. This just comes with bare wires. The Fox box comes with the uh, XT90, so you have to make it, you know, put this up to these wires yourself. Okay, let's see. Turn the power. Nice. That's lit up. Got some uh, lights here. Got here for the Bluetooth. It's on. Yep. Got it bleak, blinking. So, power is all up. Um, I ran through the quick setup. And I'm not sure how this is going to go. So, you have to... Do the config, you have to kind of spin them the way that they're going to. Yeah, we'll go this way, okay. So they're gonna spin this, it should spin this way. It should spin this way. Okay. So let's turn this on. Yep. So showing that the skateboard battery. is high the uh remote pretty high i'm not sure what the rw rewind reverse if i can medium low if i hold that oh that just goes into the setup miles per hour i guess is pulley 200 millimeter diameter wheels uh, the motor pulley is 15 teeth wheel pulley is 72 teeth throttle calibrate yeah okay let's try this out That's pretty guys. So let's uh let's see how this I'm bring it over here. Oops, something's beeping. Um let's see how many amps this is drawing when I'm when I'm running this. It's vibrating quite a bit. But I hit just uh, just under 50 amps. So pretty good. Looks like yeah, still looking good. I'm not sure what it was beeping, but um, might have to go to the configuration again because when I Yeah, sometimes one will go, well, sometimes the other one won't. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, if anybody has any tips on on that, on maybe I need to adjust my settings uh, in in the Unity. Uh, feel free to let me know. And I will try and figure out what that beeping was. All right. Uh, next time, uh, I need to start putting all this shit together. And, like, putting it, like, in a waterproof good box. I'm probably going to put the fog box here and the battery and the setup on the other side. I think this is too big. If I put it on the bottom, it's going to scrape, uh, even with these 8-inch tires. So, next time, I'll... Uh, I'll have something wired up and, and see if we can go on a, see if it goes. Uh, all right, cool. Thanks. See you next time.
Okay. So after doing a little bit more testing and using the Unity uh, configuration utility, it looks like that 50, that wasn't amps. <laughs> so uh, according to the, to the uh, Unity uh, app, I was pulling maybe 2.6 amps uh, and, and about 50 volts per wheel is what it was showing up as. But I couldn't find in the configuration why I'm getting start on one start and not start on the other. So I'm gonna have to, if somebody can help, uh, that'd be great. Uh, if there's some kind of terminal or, or something else in the configuration that I'm not seeing, I'd uh, much appreciate it. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks.